For your bracings, once they're all glued on and dried, we need to trim them a little bit. If you take your guitar body and place it over top, you'll notice that it covers up some of the bracings as well as some of this middle part here. And so we're gonna have to just mark where it hits and then just take a, a wood chisel and carefully chisel all the little spots where it's sticking over it so it can sit flat on here. So again, maybe have someone help you, but get it all centered the best you can, placed exactly where you want it to go, and then take a pencil and on the inside of your guitar, just mark where the bracings hit. Then when we remove this, you'll see right where we need to trim all these little bracings here, as well as this one here. And again, we'll just take a, a wood chisel and very carefully, it's very sharp, you'll just line it up straight up and down on the line, press down a little bit, kind of wiggle it back and forth, and then you should be able to come, sometimes it snaps right up, but other times you can come horizontally into it as well to remove any last little bit. You want to be extremely careful not to cut all the way through your guitar. So you don't have to do a ton of pressure down. You can do this in small sections at a time. Just kind of wiggle and then horizontally you can come in at it. And I kind of just go straight in and just kind of tweak the chisel upwards a little bit and it'll kind of snap off a little bit. So you can kind of clean up any other parts. Very sharp, it'll easily gouge into your guitar if you're not careful. So just super careful. It doesn't have to be perfectly removed, but you just want a good flat surface that your body of your guitar, where all these little curvings are at, can sit nice and flat. And you're gonna do this to both the back of your guitar as well as the front of your guitar. Once you have all of them trimmed, go ahead and just check to make sure the body of your guitar fits. It should have a nice, flat, snug fit all the way around. No gaps anywhere. It should not have any part that's not touching. We'll do the same thing to the front, and then we'll be able to glue this together. On the front, same thing, just place your guitar body over top of it, line things everything up where it needs to go. This piece right here should go right up against this bracing here. Just, just double check to make sure on the outside of your guitar you have extra hanging over all the way around. If we need to move some things or shift some things, we can, but we just want to have a little bit of overhang everywhere. And then just mark any bracings that are in the way that we can trim them with that wood chisel. We'll just chisel off all of where it's on the lines. Be super careful with the chisels. They're very sharp that you don't slip and slice your fingers up as you're doing this. Again, just real nice and slow and careful. Take your time with this step. There's no rush on this. It's very easy to mess it up if you cut too much off or cut through the face of your guitar. So just go nice and easy. And once you've got it all trimmed, double check with your body that it fits on there. 
because if you need to trim more, you can. Just make sure everything sits nice and tight, flat. Just check that there's no gaps anywhere. And if we're good, once we've got the back and the front, then we're gonna be ready to glue this together. All right, we're ready for the glue up. We've got our back with all the bracings on it. They're trimmed. Our front also has all the bracings on it, trimmed and everything. And our body has all the kerfing all the way around. It's been sanded on the dishes, flat on both sides. So we're ready to glue this up. And I've got these little spool clamps that you're gonna use to clamp this up. There's a whole bunch of them in this box there. And it's a good idea to do a dry fit. What I mean by that is clamping it together with no glue, just to make sure it's all gonna work. And if you see any spots that aren't clamping very well or don't come down tight, you can make some adjustments before we glue. Uh, maybe part of your sides are sticking out too far and the clamps can't hold on very well, so you might have to do more sanding on the outside just to get that to fit better. But go ahead and do a dry fit first, and then we'll put the glue on top of the kerfings on these boards here, all the way around. Go ahead and put glue on here, all the way around, and on this other side when we go to do the glue up. Okay, so we'll start with the back. Get that lined up where it needs to go. Pop on. You can kind of just feel where it fits into all those bracings that were trimmed. And then I like to start the spool clamps, I like to put one on the top and one on the bottom first. And then I kind of press the sides in and we'll put the spool clamps on the sides and then we'll kind of make our way around the whole thing. Get you hanging over the edge of the bench top and get one of the spool clamps right on the very top. Turn it around and do the bow off the bottom next. sides. Again, I like to press these in just to make sure they're nice and tight up against where we trimmed all the braces. And at this point, for a dry fit, you can kind of just look around as you're pressing it tight and just is it going to fit fine is there any spots i need to trim this one looks pretty good i think we're good to go ahead and glue but if we needed to make any adjustments we would do that now before we glue it but i think we're good to glue so we're going to repeat the same process with some glue right, we're going to glue it up just all the way around Kind of just lightly spread it around so there's no dry spot. If there's any glue squeeze out, we'll try to wipe it up before it dries. Important that you do both sides at the same time. Try not to do just the front glue up. Make sure you get the front and the back glued up at the same time. It's nice to have someone helping you when you're ready for this process.
we'll start with the top and the bottom. Make sure everything's lined up. And we'll go on the sides, we'll pinch them in. And then you're definitely going to want to put a lot of these spool clamps all the way around the entire thing. Basically just entirely around, no gaps anywhere. Just load it up out of these clamps everywhere. Just make sure there's no gaps anywhere. When we get the entire thing covered in these, sometimes you have to rearrange them a little bit to get some other pieces to fit in there. And we'll clamp this up and let it dry again at least 30 minutes. And just check to make sure there's no gaps anywhere. It should have a good tight seal all the way around the entire thing. We're looking good. great we'll just let it dry if there's any glue dripping down anywhere it'd be a good idea to try to wipe that up um, let that dry